Hi student. So today we are going to know about the geometrical structural factor. This is a another important uh, things in crystallography. Basically, this factor decides, or by through this factor we can know which XRD peaks will appear in different type of materials. So it is very much closely related to the X-ray diffraction. And I told you X-ray diffraction is very important for us because for, from that we can know what type of crystal it is, that means uh, which type of crystal system it is. So through that we can know what are the uh, different type of atomic arrangement uh, possible in different materials. Okay. So uh, in that sense it is very important. So let us go to uh, its uh, content. Now first we will define it. Now you can see, you can see uh, the definition, it is uh, it given in the first point. Uh, it is defined as ratio of, ratio of amplitude of a scattered, uh, excess scattered by a unit cell to the ratio of, uh, to the amplitude of excess scattered by the electron. Now uh, you can, if you can try to correlate this with the definition of uh, atomic factor, there uh, the ratio was amplitude of X-ray uh, scattered from an individual atom to the individual electron. But here uh, it is the ratio of amplitude of the X-ray radiation by an unit cell to the uh, 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 electron. Now you see in this case. Uh, so, in simply we can say that uh, in this case we are considering the uh, all uh, all the atoms present in the unit cell. Okay, scattering from all the units uh, atoms in the unit cells. Whereas in the atomic factor we are dealing with only uh, excess scattering from one atom only. But in the unit cell there can be one or more than one number of atoms. So we have to define these things in the term of geometrical structure factor which is uh, written as capital F okay uh, now you can see whereas uh, the atomic form factor was uh, written as uh, small f now uh, it, uh, so this is uh, the physical significance is quite clear from the definition it physically represents the amplitude of the x-ray radiation amplitude of the uh, acceleration by uh, by a unit cell with respect to an electron okay now uh, the, now we can go for each mathematical expression which is given here uh, uh, to, to to go for to understand this expression you can uh, we can just have a uh, analysis of this now you see here i have shown in this figure in this figure i have shown a unit cell okay Obviously, uh, you can uh, see it's a uh, kind of uh, simple cubic type of unit cell I have taken. Now, when well, let's say X-ray radiation is coming and heating, so to this atom, so uh, X-ray will be reflected in this way. Okay. Now, uh, similarly, X-ray, uh, if you are using a parallel beam, then X-ray will come and heat like this where the reflected will be this. Now you see and so on. Uh, I have shown it with uh, two atoms but uh, you can uh, see from each and every atom there can be such reflection. Now this uh, reflection can uh, can interfere or superpose and give us the total amplitude of the uh, X-ray radiation, scattered X-ray radiation from all the atoms. So, so for finding that we have to do the summation of all the atoms present in the unit cell. Now here the summation I have mentioned from 1 to m in the expression of uh, f uh, the geometrical structure factor. Now you see uh, the geometrical structure factor I have defined with respect to a plane HKL because uh, the, uh, the atoms uh, are lying in different planes. So from for uh, HKL plan, I am defining it. So in this uh, uh, in this case, it can be in this manner summation over J to M. 
then uh, this will be summation of over fj fj is the atomic form factor uh, so let's say here the amplitude of the scattered radiation from this atom which i am writing as f1 similarly uh, here it will be f2 so now if you add them f1 plus f2 uh, and so on then you are going to get a uh, get a expression for geometrical factor this one now you can see while uh, uh, this addition uh, 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 this scattered radiation are waves so when you do the addition or superposition then you have to uh, consider the phase factor also so this one this fa uh, this factor is the phase factor of the uh, uh, scattered radiation from different atomic planes uh, sorry, atoms now <coughs> so uh, so this is the amplitude and this is, uh, this part uh, deals with the phase now uh, uh, considering these two if you sum up then you will get the total geometrical factor now uh, in this expression you can see uh, here x uh, i have used uh, the coordinate xj yj zj this is the coordinate of the of the jth atom in the unit cell where the HKL is the Miller indices of the plane to which it belongs to. It means this atom belongs to. Okay, so in this way it can be expressed. Now let us uh, 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 go for a simplified uh, expression. Let uh, for that uh, let uh, let the uh, all the atoms are identical in the unit cell. So you can say the basis is the atom here. So uh, in that case, F will be same for all atom, and uh, you can now take it outside of this sum, and inside this sum, uh, this parameter will be there. This will be there in the sum. Now in that case, you can write down F H K L is equal to F into S, where S is this uh, this term this term okay which is summation over 2 pi i h k h x j plus k y j plus z l j this factor is called as structure factor and is written as s so you can say the uh, geometrical geometrical structure factor is equal to atomic from factor into structure factor factor now you see uh, <coughs> so obviously uh, the total amplitude from a unit cell will definitely depend on the amplitude of from the individual atom to the uh, to the uh, arrangement of uh, atoms Okay, so this arrangement of the atoms is uh, represented by the S. Okay, whereas amplitude for, for individual atom is represented by F. So therefore, geometrical structure factor is equal to atomic form factor into structural factor. Structure factor. Now you see, this is the amplitude. Now what about the intensity? Now you see the intensity of X A P corresponding to H K L plane atomic plane is directly proportional to uh, geometrical structure associated with it. So you can say IHKL that means intensity of the excess scatter from HKL plane will be equal to or will be proportional to uh, better it will be I, if I better if I write down IHKL proportional to F HKL square. Okay, so this is all about the uh, the, the basic information on geometrical structure factor. Now, uh, in the next, uh, we'll see how uh, the, how we can calculate the geometrical structure factor for different type of uh, lattice the base lattice like for simple cubic for body center cubic and fcc how it can be calculated 
we'll see in the next uh, section.